Thousands experienced the rare phenomenon firsthand here in Southern California. As Don was saying, we got a partial eclipse. And KCAN9's Randy Page is live right now. He's at the Griffith Observatory. A lot of people gather there. Pretty crowded mm -hmm. out yeah. there. Juan well, Sandra, I have to tell you, I got lucky for this assignment. There is no better place to witness this event than up here in Griffith Park. Now, it might be you can see the sun from just about anywhere, but there's something really special, as you know, about this place. Let's take a look from the vantage point up on Sky 9 to show you the size of the group that was here. Really, a lot of people from a lot of backgrounds who came to see this partial eclipse, and there was no one here who was disappointed. Gotcha. There it is. Yeah. So many ways to witness this cosmic event from up close to far away, from tracking its shadow to capturing its image. While some children describe what they were seeing, it's like moon shaped, but like orange and stuff. It's like a yellow moon. Other kids describe feelings a bit more down to earth. Fit too hot. The grounds of Griffith Observatory packed with people from many races backgrounds, cultures, and countries. There are people here from Korea. There are people here from Japan. I saw some people from Africa. Who've come to share the moment the eclipse is at its peak. The collective experience of seeing a, an event of this size, a cosmic event, to experience it at that human level, something so wonderful that has amazed and confounded people for centuries that, you know, with science we understand now what we're seeing, but it's still doesn't take away the wonder of it and the excitement of its what a unique event it is. At a time when political forces can pull us apart, a time out to share the wonder of a common experience together in Los Angeles and around the world. Sense of community, especially right now in this particular time, just the coming together and sitting with your neighbors and you know the inclusivity of an experience like this, it's sort of beautiful to share it with everyone. It taps into that thing that's unexplainable that brings people together. And I think it has to be on a cosmic level, unfortunately, at this point, to make a difference. And, you know, maybe we can all carry a little bit of it away today. Now, if you didn't have those special glasses, you probably didn't actually see it. It was really difficult. You could not look at the directly into the sun. So if you miss this one, you will have one more chance in 2024, April 8th, 2024. But you'll have to go to the East Coast to see it. Let's go back to mm. you.